How's it going there, humanoid? Have you ever done something back in high school that you will forever will be remembered? If you ever go back to your high school reunion or you meet a former classmate out on the street and they always remember you for that one thing that you did, I'm not saying that you're popular and that you'll always be remembered. Just fuck that shit. I'm just talking about stuff that one did that will forever be implanted into people's heads when they see you, they'll go, hey, you're that guy that did this. This is my story of what people will remember you for. I will forever be remembered for the guy who ninja kicked the door down in the shop class. You heard that right. My last year of high school, I had an extra spare block. A spare block is for people to go to the library and study or do their homework. Not a lot of people use that. They usually went home early or visited her friends in other classes. I went to visit a friend of mine in the shop class. While I was visiting my friend in the shop class, the shop teacher had a bitch of a time trying to open this door because he couldn't get the right key. So I see him there struggling with the keys, trying to open the door, cursing all the time, going like, fuck, fuck. Then finally he decides to give up and says, I'm gonna look for a different key. He walks away. As soon as he walks away, I get this stupid idea, hey, I'm gonna go kick that door. So, with all the speed that I have, I run full dash towards the door. Do a freaking ninja kick in the high air. I think it was a ninja kick. Just say I just fucking kicked the door. And the door went like this. I'm standing here going, oh shit. And I dash out of there like hell. And minutes later, my friend shows up and says like, the teacher is really pissed off at you. So with my head down, I go to a shot class. The teacher's standing there all pissed off. And we're like, young yeah, man, you know what you just did? I look over the door, it's still this way. <laughs> he goes like, you, sir, have to replace that door. He flat out tells me, the door costs $400. I thought I was about to die. Upon hearing that, school finally ends. And this is what I do, I go home. I go get my hair cut. Wanna know how I looked like when I was a teenager with long hair? Boom! If you can see it well. Yes, that's me. I look like a Colombian drug lord. Plus, I was wearing contacts back then. Back in the 90s, every teenager with glasses wanted contacts because it was a nerdy thing. This was before being a nerd was being a socially accepted to what it is now. Then it was in the middle of being accepted in the borderline because this is back in the day when we have Saved by the Bell and Screech was the main nerd or Urkel or that kid from Step by Step. Shaved all my hair off, took off my contacts and put on my glasses. Also, I also wore this blue jacket in high school. Fuck me, I have no idea why. Everywhere I went in high school, I always wore this blue ass jacket. Sort of like uh, Silent Bob's black jacket. This was before I even knew who Jay and Silent Bob were. So basically I walked around with a blue jacket all the time. The next day I had my hair shaven, put on my glasses, took off my blue jacket, walked right past the shop teacher. He did not recognize me. And I got away scot-free. Never did pay for that door. <laughs> nice. Here's my question to you guys. What will forever you be known for when you go back to your high school reunion or you meet a former classmate on the street? Put it in the comment section below. And so long, humanoids. No, I gotta get that top. Oh, fuck me. Cause you know. <laughs> Or that kid from Family Matters. Or that kid from Step by Step. Subscribe, motherfucker!